What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is a little more mm, depressing when you think about how foolish people can be uh, when it comes to certain video games. Maturity is something that you just can't buy. Some people never really grow up. I work around people who still act like they're in middle school. And some of them are my age and even older. Sometimes that kid on the playground just goes home and the next thing you know he's 21 and the next thing you know he's 40 and he's just never mature enough. And sometimes when it comes to being out in the real world, that immaturity shines through and it puts a negative spotlight on you and it lets people know just how foolish you really are. I'll drop a link in the description. This story is about a man named Christopher Wares who choked a woman out, UFC style, when she said he couldn't take the PlayStation. I'll drop a link in the description. Charges. Christopher Ware choked woman who said he couldn't take the PlayStation. The moment happened to be 2 p.m but that didn't bother his girlfriend much, according to the Brainerd Dispatch, who thanks to a criminal complaint from the Crow Wing County Attorney's Office, has the details on the remainder of this couple's weekend afternoon. Words soon began to complain to the woman about something lacking with their meals. He started calling her names and doing damage to property in their shared space. When Words 23 broke a coffee table, his companion suggested he go stay with his mom for a few days. Still angry, Wurz said if he goes to his mother's, he'd be taking the PlayStation the couple uses. On this point, the woman stood up for herself. The PlayStation stays here, she told Wurz. At this, the young man snapped, throwing a baby jumper into a window, knocking over a Christmas tree and tossing an ottoman. As the PlayStation fight continued, Wurz escalated it from verbal to physical. Wurz shoved the woman into a hallway wall, scraping her elbow and damaging the wall. Then they moved to the bathroom where the woman clutched the PlayStation to her. Wurz tried prying it loose by putting his left arm in front of her and applying force to her upper chest and neck with his elbow. As he did this, the woman lost the ability to speak and draw breath. That's what the cops and prosecutors call felony domestic assault and strangulation. When a Crow Kings County deputy arrived around 5 p.m., he noted the red marks on Wurz's companion's chest and neck and put the still agitated young man in handcuffs. For that and two other lesser charges related to his alleged tirade that day, Wurz is being held on $40,000 bail and cannot contact the victim until further notice. The charge of domestic assault by strangulation carries a maximum penalty of three years in prison and a $5,000 fine. Idiots like this guy. I mean, look at him. He looks like an immature fool. First of all, you're upset because there's something missing from your meals. You know what's missing from them? You cooking them. You start cooking your own meals if you dislike the way that this lady's cooking for your stupid ass. And on top of that, you're lucky with this kind of mentality that you even have a woman in your life. You know, I grew up in a situation watching my mother be abused by the guy she would date. And my mom was one of those type of women who felt worthless if she didn't have some guy in her life. And she would always pick the absolute worst kind of losers. And so I grew up watching that. I can't respect this kind of stuff. You know, you want to choke a girl out for a PlayStation that more than likely she bought because you're upset that you don't like the meal that she cooked you? Do you hear yourself? Now, he didn't beat her up. Thank God he didn't, you know, strike her and punch her in the face like a lot of these guys and like some of the things I saw growing up. But still, strangling her out with your elbow and, you know, pushing her up against the wall, the penalty has to match the crime. So, I think that you need to serve some time. I think in situations like this, a guy serves three, four, five months, it's going to be a good deterrent. And I think it'll make him take pause and sit back and recognize the next time he's in a situation where he's not in control. And, and it'll make him think, okay, if I do something stupid, I'm going to serve three to five months again. You know, I don't think that the guy should serve five years or anything like that, but I think he should definitely be in jail for a little bit of time. And when he gets out, he doesn't need to be in a relationship. Obviously, he doesn't know how to treat a lady. And... Of course, it's a PlayStation. I know PlayStation is, you know, crowned king of gaming right now. It's really important to a lot of people, but it's cheap, man. $250. Be a man about it. Go buy another one. Leave the lady alone and go start cooking your own meals. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have you ever been involved in a domestic violence situation? I have not. Have you guys ever seen someone go through that? It's really tough to see. And especially when you're young, it kind of hones you and turns you into the kind of adult you're going to be. I mean, I love my mother to death. The fact is that watching her go through what she went through with all these guys growing up has turned me into the man that I am. I'll never be that way towards a woman. And I'm very thankful for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the Beastly Gamer channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.